Hello and welcome to part 2 of the automated beer brewery in modded Minecraft. The reason why I built this factory was to deliver beer around the server. And more specifically, Wolf Machina has recently started a server where there are towns connected by trains. I wanted to build a beer brewing factory to deliver beer to all the pubs around the server. The mods I'm using for this are EV's Alcohol, Immersive Engineering and Immersive Railroading, Create and Quark. Last time we checked out the previous parts of the factory. We had the loading part, the brewing part, the parts where the ingredients get made for the alcohol base. And here we have the part where the slime is made. So today we're gonna check that out. If you haven't seen the previous part, I'll link it somewhere. Okay, first off we'll check out the recipe. To make the slime ball, we need some dough from Create and some lime dye. To make the lime dye, we've got different options. We could mix the green dye and the white dye, or we could grind some plants. While a lot of plants give lime dye as a byproduct, the sea pickle gives lime dye as the primary product with some green dye as a byproduct. To make dough, we've got to add some water to our wheat flour. We make our wheat flour by crushing some wheat. And that's in broad lines the recipe of a slime ball. Now, let's check out the process in the factory. Slime gets made in this mixing basin. The slime gets mixed in a basin when the basin is empty. This comparator stops giving out a redstone signal. This inverter then makes the redstone torch give out a signal to the dropper. The dropper then drops one item into the basin and the process repeats. I could have chosen to fill the basin with a mechanical arm like I did here at the yeast production. However, I want to give me a challenge to do it in a different way to show that a lot of options are available. For the lime dye we have a lot of options, however we chose the sea pickle because the sea pickle gives slime dye directly. We start off by creating bone meal using a composter. I chose to fill it with mushrooms since I already had this setup from the other parts. However, anything to compost is fine. Just get some bone meal. The bone meal then gets transported using this engaged fan and some conveyors to this deployer. This deployer bone meals the sea pickles, causing it to spread to nearby coral blocks. The deployers on the rotating part then pick up the sea pickles from the coral blocks. They are set to left hand action mode, so they break the sea pickles. When the sea pickles are picked up, they are put into this chest as part of the contraption. The portable storage interface then interacts with the chest to get the sea pickles out of the system and drops them into this crushing wheel. Crushing wheels then crush it into lime dye and stamps a little bit of green dye. The conveyor belt moves them into this item router. The item router relays the lime dye to the top and the green dye to the west. The green dye gets collected into this large chest, but this is at the moment a trash chest. A future option would be to mix it with some white dye, for example made from bone meal, to turn it into more lime dye. The lime dye then gets moved by the conveyor belt into the chute, which drops it into the dropper. For the dough, we reuse the garden clutch idea to grow some wheat. The garden clutch puts its output items onto the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt then moves them into the crusher. Crushing wheels crush the wheat into wheat flour, and the seed gets ignored because he doesn't have a recipe for them. Conveyor belt then moves it again into an item router, which is set to outputting the wheat flour onto the chest on top, and everything that isn't wheat flour gets put out into this trash chest. We could, for example, use these seeds to compost them into more bone meal. The wheat flour then follows this conveyor belt where the wheat flour gets washed. Washing is a concept in Create where you put an encased fan behind uh, some water. It emits blue particles indicating its range. However, the speed of the fan only affects the range of the washing process and not the speed. This is why we need to put multiple encased fans side by side to make sure that the dough gets washed completely. This funnel then picks up the items and puts it into the dropper which helps to put it all into the mixing basin. The mixing basin then transforms it to slime and the slime gets used further out into the factory. Since I've made the first video, Evie's alcohol has received an update. The update from August 26, 2021. I am currently on version 2.2 and the new one is version 3. In version 2.2 
there are four tiers of alcohol. In the new one, only two remain. The four tiers added a bit of unnecessary complexity, while the mid tiers were not really worth brewing. To show the effect difference between a tier four and tier one, I'll get this bottle of absinthe and this bottle of 192 proof absinthe. I'll also get a bucket of milk to remove the effects in between. Okay, so let's check it out. The regular absinthe bottle. It gives these effects, strength 2 and nausea 2. And now let's see what the other one does, the 192 proof. This one gives strength 5, nausea 5 and poison 5. So it gives more of the positive effects but also more of the negative effects. The tier 1 gives level 2 effects, tier 2 gives level 3 effects, tier 3 gives level 4 effects and tier 4 gives level 5 effects. To increase the distillation level, we just add some sugar to the previous tier. But since farming sugar is actually quite easy, as I've already shown in a previous video, I don't think there's a reason not to go to the top tier immediately. So I uh, follow the mod maker's design choice here. What I think that could make it worth it would be if the mod maker would have a specialized brewing or a distilling stand. If you brew a tier 1 drink in that distilling stand, you can increase its tier and as such its effect level. You could then have a chance for different quality outcomes resulting in res the tier 2, tier 3 and tier 4 drinks respectively. And to add on to that idea, it might be optional to redistill the level 2 and level 3 ones into level 4. These are my current ideas on the Evis Algo mod and I'm excited to see where this mod will go. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can check out Evie's alcohol mod on CurseForge and I hope you'll check out Wolf Machina on Twitch and on YouTube because I've really been enjoying playing on the server. That's it. That should be it. We're done. I don't see a reason why we would go for the mid-tier alcohol.